know guys, if you did watch my previous video about the Clarity Cosmetics Anaconda palette, you could see how I mixed some colors to create a neutral look despite the palette being really colorful. Some of you wondered how I was able to mix the colors and that's the theme of today's video. To make things a little bit easier to understand, I will start out with the basics and talk about primary colors and the color wheel and how you can easily get a different color just by looking at the opposite colors and see how they look like when they mix together. But if you want me to do a part 2 where I show you how to mix more unconventional or unusual color combos, I will gladly do that for you too. So there is two ways how you can do this kind of mixing method and I will show you both. I have a preference and I will talk about that a little bit later on in the video. I will use the Da Vinci Beauty Del Mar palette just because it contains a lot of primary colors which is what we will do in this video because it's easier to start out with primary colors to get an idea of how to mix the colors. I would also recommend that you use more dense but still fluffy brushes like the ones from Oasis Makeup. I will probably showcase some other brushes too but those are the ones I will start out with. So the first method is to basically dip your brush in both of the pans at the same time. So I will first pick the blue shade here and dab it here. And then I will dab it a little bit in the yellow shade. And then apply it directly to the eye. This method requires quite a lot of blending, but it still works out well if you do it right. I think you can see that it's starting to become a lime green shade here. And if you want a different uh, tone of the color, you can just repeat it until you're happy with the tone. Yeah. So now we have a green eye, despite that we used a blue and a yellow together. To spice things up a little bit, I will do the other method on this eye and I will actually mix two different colors. I will pick the blue shade first, just pick up it like this and apply it to the eye in a spot where you want it. I apply some more just to get the opaque layer and now you need to clean the brush. Second color I will use is the red color and then I will just tap it on top of the other shade. And as you can tell this will give a more darker purple effect on the eye. This is my preferred method because it's easier to control how the colors is up like. And when you use darker colors, you will of course get a darker color when you mix them too, which is great when you are looking for a more deepening up shade. For example, when I created my neutral look with the Anaconda palette, I didn't find any good deepening up shade. So I mixed the darker green with the darker purple and then I got a more almost grey shade, almost black grey shade, which was perfect for that kind of look. So the main colors that you are going to mix are red, blue and yellow. Those are the primary colors. This means that when you mix any of those colors, you will get another color guaranteed. Like for example, if you mix blue and yellow, you will get a green shade. When you mix blue and red, you will get a purple shade. And when you mix um, red and yellow, you will get orange and uh, so on. So I will actually take a red and mix it with a yellow to get the orange shade. First we apply the red shade here. And now I will go in with the yellow shade, just dabbing it on. And then blend. To get a darker blue, I added a blue and mixed it with the purple on the same brush. And then dab it on like this and blend. 
I guess that what I'm learning from this experiment is that it doesn't work that well when you're trying to mix a lot of colors at once. It mostly works well when you just use one or two shades because if you look at it, this eye it looks quite patchy and yeah it doesn't look too good. I did just cut my crease and I will add some shimmers on this eye to demonstrate how easy it is to mix the colors with just shimmers. So I will first take a green. And on top I will add the yellow. It seems like those shimmers isn't that uh, doesn't have a lot of base but you can still see that the shades uh, change now take a red shimmer and i will add a blue shimmer on top Now I will go in with the purple shade in the outer corner, matte purple. I'm going with the green on top of it. See, it instantly deepened up the look. I'm not saying that this is a good look because I just wanted to demonstrate how you can mix the colors. But On this eye I will add some yellow and apply blue on top of it and mix. You can also take a darker blue and add some yellow on top of it. You can take a purple and add some green on top of it. Yeah, both of those looks did end up really messy and ugly, but that was just to sh show you how the application method works. And I think that you understand the idea now. Uh, my conclusion is that it's better to just mix maybe one or two shades and not do it on the whole eye because it ends up looking quite muddy to be honest. Uh, but for example if you just want a dark darker outer corner, this method works perfectly fine and I mean that's the idea behind it. I, to be fair, most of us own like 50 palettes already so we don't need to use those kind of techniques but uh, it's still good to learn new techniques in case you are traveling or maybe just want to use one palette at a time. I personally like to use this method because when I try to review a palette I don't want to bring in a lot of other palettes at the same time and in case the palette doesn't offer the kind of depth that I need for my look I like to mix the shades but I still get a good idea of how the formula works. This is also a great way for someone who doesn't own a lot of palettes in their collection and want to get most out of the, what they already own. Uh, so I highly recommend it if you want to experiment with the makeup that you already own. Let me know if you found this video interesting and if you want similar content in the future. Just leave a comment and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. For example, when I created my neutral look, I couldn't uh, find any good deepening up shade for the look I created. <coughs> to be fair most of us own like 50 palettes already so we don't need this kind of method. <laughs> but, uh...